Hey everybody, welcome back to more Unexplored. Now, last time I said that I was probably going to play Moria Run or something since we've beaten the Ripley Run, but then just uh, not too long ago, actually I don't know because I wasn't online when he did it, but uh, the one of the devs for this game messaged me on Steam and said he changed a few of the things in the recent update and it sort of balanced things for the Ripley Run and he wanted to know my thoughts on it and that's pretty fucking cool. I, you know, it's a, it's kind of a cool feeling when uh, the devs are asking for, you know, what you think. And it does actually seem like it, it could change things a good deal. So I'm all for it. I do like the Ripley Run. I think if it's balanced better, it could be a lot. Like it's fun already. It could be a lot more fun. So I'm willing to try it. Uh, I do want to, yeah, look at it. Oh, right, right, right. This, this is a great fix already. Adjusted the invulnerability time after a hit so the repeater crossbow can damage with every hit. Perfect. That's great. If that was the only thing they changed, it would un it would make the game easier, which isn't great because, like, it's already pretty easy, but um, they added some other stuff too. So, But that's, that's a great fix. Uh, plants no longer count towards kill count. Doesn't really change much. I mean, the scores will be slightly lower. It just makes more sense, I guess. Uh, eggs no longer bleed, which could be a thing. I mean, it means we'd probably have to hit him like three times to kill him, but like, is that a big deal? I guess it could be, because it's another chance that we might bump into them. So, we, we might end up losing some health to that in a minor way. And then, yeah, this here. Change the balance of eggs, crawlers, and creeps spawned in the Ripley room. Or uh, Ripley run. I'm not sure, uh, what exactly that means. At first, I thought it meant that it changes them as in the amounts of each of them. So like what I would imagine is probably a lot less eggs and a lot more crawlers and creeps. But like I now that I'm thinking about it, it could actually be something else too. Like it could be how much health they have or how much damage they do. Um, it's it's vague though. So like I don't know, it could be a, a very minor change or it could be huge. Uh, we'll see. And then creeps can charge at you and I I, kind of, I thought they could already. Because I remember getting, like, caught in a corner a few times. But, you like, thinking back, like, that one time we died, that first time. Um, we were in a, like, they can get you in bad situations already. If they're now going to have the ability to, like, go faster towards you, that could be a problem. And this, the most sensible change, like, you could possibly make, arrows are found uh, less frequently. That's, <laughs> like, that is a, a great fix. I mean, again, it's one of those things, like, it's, it's vague. How less frequently? I mean, it's not like he could say, like, they're, they're ten less, or whatever, but, you know, it depends on, on what the, uh, how many they end up, there ends up being, how good that's gonna be. Um, I got knocked off. <laughs> well, I guess this is our chance to get back on. Uh, Ripley, uh, uh, three. Uh, yeah, that is something to mention. He, he talked about, uh, the dev... He said that he's going to probably uh, reset the high scores. So even if we do get on the high score list this time, it's not gonna it's not gonna count for much. Like I know why he's waiting um, to reset the high scores. He's waiting until like uh, you know to see if anything bad comes up. We got a lot of stuff here. I don't know why it doesn't stack. That's just a little strange. The arrows too. What's with that? Hmm. <laughs> Is that a trapped one we have to open? That's just like, why? Uh, you know what I mean? That's actually, that's a, can I already, I already have a complaint. <laughs> right away. Uh, there's nothing you can, oh right, I forgot that the uh, attack thing is different now. I'm very happy that that blocked that. Oh, okay, okay, we need to get back into this. But yeah, that's like, uh, I, I, I don't like that. Because, think about it this way. You have to open that chest, which means you're gonna take five damage unless you get lucky. But uh, you're so you're going to take five damage at the beginning of the run, um, and you can't avoid it. So it just makes your run worse based off of luck, which I mean is gonna happen to some extent anyway. But like it's it's I don't know. It's it's like something you could not control at all. Like. Some things that are luck-based you can still control, like enemies spawn in a position that's hard to deal with, but you can still deal with them. Um, or something like that, you know, you get less items, but you can still work with what you get, or something like that. But uh, in this situation, it's like, 
Oh, right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty great that they fixed that. I still don't want to hold it down too much. Also, that was weird. But yeah, in this situation, there's nothing I could do. So it's that's that's not usually a good thing to have in a game. Is like something that is detrimental to you that you cannot control, right? Because if I wanted, oh, if I was like super serious about, okay, geez, especially now, I was gonna say if I if I was like super serious about um getting like the best score or something right now, um I would probably reset because like just from random chance I have less health. I mean, also, I haven't been doing great right now, so that's also been a bit of a detriment, but you know what I mean? It's like, I don't want things to go badly that I can't control or at least influence in some way. Like, if things go badly and I... Oh, okay. Okay, still, okay. If things go badly and I can still, you know, get around them, that's fine, but I couldn't avoid that damage. That's what I'm saying. But whatever. It is minor. It's five points. But I mean, what if you die from five points? Suddenly not so minor, you know? Uh, I really... I'm using a couple of these arrows because I'm not quite used to uh, swinging. But I really shouldn't. Oh, jeez. And yeah, that was just a waste. You know what I mean, though? I, I really shouldn't because we are not... We're not going to have as many arrows as normal, it seems like. We did start with some more, which is very good. I should have checked what achievements I don't have, actually, and maybe gone for those. The music stopped, also. I know that sometimes that's supposed to happen, but it's kind of weird when it's like, it's, it was like really loud music from like the intro thing, from like the menu, and then nothing. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, I didn't know that was going to happen, though, or else I would have never done this. All right, we're fine. The life potion is worth it. Um, also, like, we want to kill as many guys as we can. Right, we're still drained. Okay, okay. Two pokes? That's not so bad. Unless I think I might have hit him once before that. But, uh, minus three. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Especially without bleeding. Oh, well, when they're, when they're up, they can bleed. That's true. Uh, it seems like they jump more. I don't know. I don't know if that's just like luck or what that is, but it seems like they're jumping more. I don't know. It didn't mention anything about that unless that's included in balance. I just noticed this. Um, we could have kind of gotten away there at any time. Yeah, now we can leave whenever we want. We still want to kill these guys, but it's good to have a backup. Oh, you know, an escape plan. Oh, this takes so long to recharge. Oh, this is so bad. We need we need a replacement right away. Okay, stop, please. Stop. When you're really close to him, they don't jump. That guy, I knew that guy was... I Like, I thought he was going to jump. I wasn't sure because he was kind of close. Yeah, okay. So they... Oh, they still die in one hit if you get them... A, if you get a bleed on them, which means, you know, they can't be in the egg. Yeah, look, this guy doesn't jump. Or maybe I'm just getting lucky, but it sure seems like they don't jump. Yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's going pretty nice. Oh, I did want to say something. I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, I've been, you know, like I look at Steam every once in a while to see like, oh my, what is this re reload? Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I look at Steam every once in a while to check out like what new games are coming out to see if there's anything I want to play. But like at this point, it's so s close to like me leaving. Like it's it's a week away that uh, there's no point in even looking. Like, even if there's something cool, I'm not going to be able to play it. But it's, it's, I'm just curious. And I look today, and there's, like, like four new games. Like, for a while now, there's not really been anything big that I've been interested in playing. Well, that's not entirely true. It's, uh, that, that Dark Souls Robot game looked kind of cool. And then there was uh, Prey looked kind of interesting. But there weren't, like, a ton, and they were kind of spaced out. Um, but then just, just like the ne the last couple days, I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't checked in a few days, but like, there were like four games all that all looked really cool. There's some space game that looked, uh, pretty interesting. There was, uh, some game called like Mid Boss or something, some dungeon crawler that like looked right up my alley. L looked like a pretty fun looking thing. And, uh, some game that looks like just a ripoff of Banished, <laughs> according to all the reviews, which... 
I liked Banish, but if it literally is the same, I guess I'm not too interested because I have Banished. And just like, it, there was one other, too. I don't remember what it was. Oh, and the Friday the 13th game looks interesting. I'd like, I'd be up for trying it. And uh, it's just kind of like, oh, well, that sucks. You know, right when, uh, you know, like, I'm, I'm on the lookout for, like, new games to play. Um, and then right when I'm about to leave and, like, do not have the time to record, you know, to start something new, a bunch of new stuff comes out that I'm ac actually interested in playing. But, uh, oh, okay. I looked away for, like, a second because I thought I saw something in the corner of my eye, but I'm just being paranoid. I don't know what. I, thought, I think there might be a fly in here or something. Gotta, gotta focus. Gotta ignore that. But yeah, it's, it's just like, really? <laughs> like, you had to release it right now. Oh, we are never gonna break through this. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I need to see what's over. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I need to get through, but, oh man, it's gonna take a while. Okay, okay, that's not so bad. Not so bad. Alright, alright. Few more guys down here, just some eggs. All right, good. Up to 81 already, not bad. Yeah, I'm not sure since it said the balance has changed. Again, I'm not sure if that means like how strong they are. I don't, I haven't noticed any main like big differences in health or anything. Um, as far as damage, I, I just wouldn't notice because I don't really remember how much damage they do because I'm usually more fo focused on avoiding it than uh, seeing how much ha um, gets taken away when I take it. But, yeah, anyway, if they did change the balance as in, like, how many spawn, um, we could get a very different score. Not that it matters too much, like I said, but it's uh, interesting. I guess we'll see. Mm, we probably want to go to the alchemy room first, right? I think so. Someone was saying... Uh, well, by someone, I mean Frank, the guy who comments on a lot of my videos. Uh, he had the idea that, well, he was saying, because I was complaining about how, uh, about the backtracking with the alchemy room, where, like, you have to go back there to use the crafting table, and I was saying, like, it's just boiled water, like, why can't I just do it in my inventory? And then he said, like, why do, why do you need a crafting table at all? And I, I kind of agree, like, why... And I don't mean in, like, a way that makes sense. I mean, it, it's fine. The the alchemy things, they make enough sense. But I just mean in, in terms of gameplay, like, it doesn't seem to add much, right? Normally when you add, there's, there's like, a mechanic to a game. What you want it to do, as far as I can, I'm, I'm no game developer. But, like, it seems like you want it to add some sort of decision for the player. Even in an action game, you know, like strategy games, the, the decisions are, are obvious, right? It's literally just making decisions. But even like action games, it's about, it's still about decisions, but they're just split second. Like, do I attack this guy with melee or do I do it with ranged? Do I wait for him to jump at me or do I run at him? You know, it's, it's not decisions you think about, but they're still decisions. And it's still like, that's a very important part of, of video games. And so anything you add to a game, it seems like it should be adding an important decision, an engaging decision, a fun decision, you know, something like that. Um, and the crafting tables don't really add a decision. The decision that they add is, it, well, like they do add a decision, it's just not a good one. Because, right, say like I'm down here somewhere. And I get the thing, I get the materials to craft something and go back up. I mean, basically what happened last time. My decision is not one of, like, what's the best course of action, which is what the decisions normally are. Like, how do I best approach the situation? The, the, um, decision is instead... Oh, I walked right into that. The decision is, do I do the best course of action, which would be to walk up and go to the crafting table, the craft, crafting the uh, alchemy lab, whatever. Um, do I make the best decision or do I save my time? You know what I mean? And at that point, you're, you're making decisions that are existing outside of the game and you're wondering whether or not you sh even want to... Uh. You know what I mean? You know what I'm getting at? It's like instead of trying to make the de best decision, you're considering... You already know what the best decision is. There's only one choice, really. But you're wondering whether or not to make that choice because you don't want to be wasting your time. And 
that's not really a good thing. That's fine if, like, time is, like, a resource in the game. You know, like, during a time trial, it makes some amount of sense. Because then it's a real decision based on you're trying to find out what's the best way to approach things. Do I go for the alchemy bench and give up time in exchange for good stuff, you know, good potions that could be very useful, or do I give up my chance to get good potions so that I can have a better time? Um, but maybe die, not having the potions, you know, it's a back and forth. That's a, that's a good decision. You know, I, I could see it, you know, being good for a time trial. But when time isn't an issue, it really is just a matter of, like, um, is the boredom I am going to have backtracking worth doing better at the game? Last time I decided it was, but a lot of times, personally, when I'm playing video games, a lot of times I'll decide against that. When a game, because I mean, it's it's not like this is the only game that does that. So, uh, there are a few. I can't think of any. Um, well, I mean, there are a lot of games that do backtracking, but I'm trying to think of one that like. I don't know. I, y you see what I'm getting at, though? Like, it it doesn't seem to add anything. Like, I think he's actually right. I think Frank is right that like, it. Why even have it? It just doesn't add anything. Um, so, you know. Anyway. Like, I don't know what you would... Re you could replace it with something, maybe? Like, something you need to be able to make the things? Like, maybe an item you can find that can let you craft stuff, so then at least it would not mess with the balance too much to where you would... Because, um, you know, like, right now you can't craft things all the time, which makes it harder to get certain things. It just takes so long to, to recharge this. But, yeah, like, it... it might mess with the balance a lot if you could just um, make things at any time, but I don't. I don't even think so, really. Um, but you could get around that by maybe making a, a rare item that it, like works like a crafting bench. But uh, you know, you just find it and carry it around with you, or you could just make it to where you don't need anything. Like I think that could still work, honestly. But you know, just my opinion on it. It just seems like it doesn't. It doesn't add much. What's what's the the point of it? Um, yeah. I mean, certainly, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm trying to think like what if it's a bad thing getting rid of it, but I don't. I don't think so. I think it'd be fine. Um, are we missing a set of stairs here? Right there, maybe. Um, yeah, it's the one I actually want to go down to. So, I guess we're gonna try and find this. It's not here in the dark, is it? No, it doesn't seem like. Uh, or is it? Like, where could it be? No, there's nothing here. There's not even walls there. There? It's probably there. There's probably a room down off there. That's like a little connector thing. Those things I always miss. That's probably what it is. That'd be my guess. We'll see. But that's... It's pretty likely. Oh, it's... No, it's actually just a door that I missed. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I just, I just want to try this. So I use a tool here. And I took the torch off. Hey! Nice! I mean, that's... It's interesting. I don't know... It's kind of strange that you need a tool to take them off. I guess they're, like, bolted on or something. Ah, taking a drink of water. I was, like, didn't realize how thirsty I was. Luckily, this loading is giving me plenty of time. But now I'd prefer it to uh, speed up. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> stage two. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Was, there was something else I was going to mention. Oh, right. There was one, there's like one more thing on the menu for, like, a special run. Um, so... But, like, I just want to say, like, not going to get around to playing it. Uh, because unless they release it, like, tomorrow. Otherwise, we are very... I mean, I mentioned it a million times. But we are very close. I'm just excited about it. That's why I keep talking about it. But I'm very close to uh, uh, shoving off for the summer. And, you know, being out on the ocean. And... I, they'll probably re release the uh, new thing 
while I'm gone, so don't expect immediate coverage of it. I'll definitely check it out when I get back, though. Um, I mean, like, obviously, I've been expecting to, like, stop playing this game at some point. But, I like, I expected to stop actually quite a bit sooner, but it's just kind of held up, and they keep updating it, and it's a fun time. So, you know, I haven't stopped. But, uh, and then when I get back, I'll probably play it again. Probably not for too long. Um, because I do want to move on to other stuff. But, I don't know. It's, pre it's pretty fun. And it's gone well so far. Oh, God, come on. And yeah, I, I, I'll definitely be interested in seeing what the final thing they do is. Or, I don't even know if it's final, but it's the only, there's only one spot left on the, on the menu. I'm kind of afraid it's going to shut on me. Well, I guess not. Does that turn off that one? Okay, perfect. Nice. But yeah, so, uh, it, it will be interesting. I think I mentioned already, but it will be pretty interesting to see how things turn out while I'm gone. See what kind of updates happen. Um, I mean, if they, if they keep up, I, I think I've said this, but like, if they keep up their their current rate of updates, it'll be like a completely different game by the time we get get back. By the time I get back, I don't know, we. Uh, so, we as a, you know, me and you, playing unexplored. <laughs> but, yeah. It'll, uh, so maybe there will be quite a few episodes after that. But I'll definitely be moving on to something new. I might be, I'll probably be checking out these games that just came out recently, but then by that time, no one will be interested in them. It'll be three months after their release, and they they didn't look like big games or anything. They were, they were like in, indie games, interesting indie games, but uh, probably not the th sort of thing that has a lot of staying power for three months. Maybe. Who knows? But we'll see. And, hey, probably some cool stuff will come out during those three months. And also, I should come back with some money to actually be able to... You know, I'll probably get one of those, one of those capture card things, and I kind of want to pick up a... A Wii U. <laughs> like, if it's, like, not the kind of thing... I'm, I'm pretty uh, frugal. I don't really spend a lot of money. But, uh, like, I have a feeling I might have... I might come back with a lot of money. Like, more money than I know what to do with. And, obviously, I'm just going to put away most of that. You know, I'm just going to save it for, you know, emergencies. Save it for, like, in case I don't get the same job next year. Or, like, whatever. That kind of thing. But, um... Still, like... There's a couple of things I could pick up, you know, spoil myself a little bit. I think a Wii U or a, or a Switch would be interesting. I actually own a Wii U, but, like, it's not mine. Like, um, like, I, my brother has one, and I could, I can borrow it and, like, play it whenever I want to. I just don't, and because it's, it's kind of inconvenient. But, uh, yeah, I, I was kind of considering it. Because, and I, then I would just get, yeah, I'd get a capture card and record it. And I'll probably, when I get back, I'll probably start recording stuff with a friend of mine, because I'm moving in with a close friend of mine who wants to do YouTube stuff. He's seeing my amazing success. By the way, 300 fucking subs. Like, wow. It's mostly because of CK2, um, I'm sure, because that has been getting a ton of views. But certainly a good bit of it is from my loyal uh, unexplored viewers. And I'm sure there's at least a little bit of overlap. Um, all right. Teleport? Okay, good. That's, that could be useful. But yeah, 300. I think, wasn't I talking about, like, it was, like, just a week or two ago, I was saying, like, oh, we might hit 200 before I leave. You know, don't expect, like, a, like, an update video or anything. Like, a happy 200. Because, um, oh, no, I want to kill these guys, but I don't want to mess with the gargoyles. Okay, okay, this works, this works. This word. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, that was lucky. Does this open? Uh, oh, great. Okay, well... I don't know if that was worth it. What was I going to say? Yeah, oh, it's just kind of funny. Like, I was saying, like, oh, we might, uh, we might get to 200 before I leave. So don't, ex you know, don't expect an update sort of thing. Because I'm, I'm busy. And, uh, not only did we get to 200, we got to 300. I'm sitting at, like, 304 right now. It's been, it's been pretty good. So it seems to be mostly CK2, um, which is cool. I like playing CK2. It's, it's a fun game. Like, I played it a lot, you know, before. Um, is that guy? 
Uh, I want to check out the other locked rooms here if I can. Yeah, this is open. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, the, the first episode of that series has like 7,000 views or something. Like, that's fucking insane. I mean, and I made like 20 bucks. Not on that one video, but I mean, like, the, in like the past month, I made like 20 bucks. Like, that's when you've reached the point where you're playing video games and making enough money playing video games that you can fund the purchase of more video games, you know you're living the good life, right? $20. Like, that's the price on Explored, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Like, I think, no, maybe it was only 10 I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay, this is locked, so I guess... Uh, one of the gargoyles might have the key, actually. But I don't think that's a worthwhile thing to go after. We have another key, too, but it's just not that one. It's locked, not barred, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm liking it. All my friends are impressed. Especially my friend who actually does YouTube stuff. And it's like, I tell him, like, it's not hard. Honestly, like, I mean, it's hard to keep things consistent, but it's simple. Like I told him, you put out videos like you put out stuff like once a month or less. It's been like months since you put anything out. And the stuff you put out, it's not like something that's going to stick with people for a long time. It's not like it took you a long time to do. Like, just put out more stuff. Like, that's the key. As far as I can tell, I mean, it's not like 300 a lot. But to me, it's it sure seems like a lot. Like I told him, like, the the key is just to put stuff out, you know. Just keep it consistent. Give people... Oh. <laughs> Great. Well, I was going to say give people a reason to subscribe, you know. But, uh, yeah. The generator failed to generate a level three times in a row. Please restart the game. If it persists after restarting, please send your save file to the developers. The instruction for sending save files can be found on the... Hmm. Now, when it says restart the game, I assume it means quit and go back in. Uh, let's hope it records on the first time. It did when I started it today, which is what put me in a... I was in a good mood about things. Like, it's always nice when it just starts recording right away. And this time... It did it again! Did they did they solve the recording fix? They did not mention that, and I don't think they were really working at it because I'm the only one who has a problem with it. Two times in a row, though, with not a single crash? That's good. Okay, let's see if... Uh Let's see if this works this time. I guess, yeah, some with the level generation is messing up. Which is strange, because they didn't change anything about the level generation, right? Well, except, I guess, the generation of the enemies in the levels could be different. Oh, so when it loads a sec second time, does that mean it's, it's like, the first one messed up? Oh, that's probably it. It's like Dwarf Fortress, actually. You know how when you... I don't know if anyone here's played Dwarf Fortress. That might be something to record at some point. That is a fun game. But uh, when, when you create a world... And it did it again. This might be a short episode, guys. Uh, I'm going to try it one more time. Give me a, Let's see if we can get three times in a row of the game starting and recording right away. Um, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, like Dwarf Fortress, when you start the world, it does the same sort of thing. It'll, like, uh, throw away worlds that don't really, they aren't really up to snuff. Uh, still not recording. Oh, mm, there it goes. Game crashed. <laughs> Well, so it's not fixed. <laughs> Two times is not bad, though. Um, I guess I'm going to stop it there. Sorry for the short episode. Wanted to get a little further into the Ripley run, but I um, there's no point in starting a new one. And also, I'm going to have to, yeah. Yeah, we'll just start it, stop it here. We're pretty darn close to the 30 minutes we usually go for. So, I'll see you guys next time with hopefully a game that uh, doesn't crash on us. Uh, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.